Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very exciting video. I was so excited when Sydney Gray started sneak peeking their Enduring Love palette and I was so surprised that it was in my mailbox last night and I was like, real, oh my gosh, they sent me their new palette and I was like freaking out and I couldn't wait to get up today and film this video and swatch the palette for you guys and all that good stuff. I don't know if I just won like the mail lottery. Usually since I live in North Dakota and the weather is always bad here, all my packages recently have been like delayed and this and that and the other thing. So I was very, very grateful to the postal service gods that delivered this palette to me. And I'm so excited to be able to show it to you guys. So here is the palette that they are launching. And this is launching on January 13th on Sydney Grace's website. It has a beautiful big mirror here. And then these are the pans. They did square pans. Typically, Sydney Grace does round pans for their single shadows. But I kind of love that they switch it up. It kind of gives me like a Viseart vibe. This tin packaging is very heavy. So it's a nice weighted package in your hands. And I don't really know much about like how much product or anything is in here because I don't believe I got like a box for it. So I'm not quite sure, but if I can find more information or the brand shares more information with me, I'll try and remember to put all of that in my description box or in a pinned comment for you guys. The other thing that is really cool about this palette is it's gonna come in two different skin tones. So there's a light palette and a deeper palette. And I believe she sent me the light one. I am waiting on clarification from the brand about the shade they sent me. She did say that she felt like this would work better for me and she thinks the transition shades would work better for me whereas the deeper one I think she said is very deep. So I think I got the fair one but it doesn't say on here if it's the lighter one so I'm not quite sure yet. But like I said, I will put that you know, in a comment or something on the screen as well as in the description for you guys because I'm sure you want to know. And I personally had no problems with any of the shades or anything like that showing up on me. I also have their original palette. This is the Autumn Rain palette that they came out with. I believe, was it last January or December? I actually picked it up in January, I believe, because I was waiting for a sale because I was trying not to be savage but this is really cute as well i like this packaging um because it's lightweight and it's cardboard but yeah just wanted to show you both of them and then i did swatch the palette so i'm gonna go ahead and insert swatches of the palette right here for you guys at sydney grace we are so excited to share our newest palette enduring love with you from the romantic design on the outside to the stories behind each shade name to the versatile shades we are sure you will fall in love with this palette like we have. This cool tone palette is so versatile with soft neutrals and deeper complementary colors that it is easy to create many different looks for a wider range of skin tones. To further make this palette appeal to a larger range of skin tones, we have created two versions of this palette, one for fairer skin tones and one for medium to deep skin tones. Enduring Love will release in both light and deep versions on Monday, January 13th. It will be a permanent addition to our Sydney Grace line. We are excited to launch this palette. We hope you enjoy creating looks with it in 2020. So now that you guys saw the swatches, I'm gonna go ahead and insert how I created this look right here. What do you do when your favorite brand sends you their newest palette? Obviously you film a YouTube video. And today I have the new Sydney Grace Enduring Love palette. Here is what this Gorgeous palette looks like it is a tin packaging, kind of like Too Faced if I had to reference. And then on the back here, just says Sydney Grace. So cute. Feels very durable and heavy. There's also a big mirror in here that you could use for makeup. And I don't believe it comes in a box. I believe the packaging, it was just wrapped up. So I don't know how much product is in here and stuff like that. But it's got square pans and it is very heavy and it feels really well made. So I was staring at this palette and I'm like, what look am I gonna do? I don't know, because it leans very cool tone and very much like 
muted. Like it's colorful because there's like a blue and a purple and another purple and this beautiful grungy olive tone called Deanna right here. Oh my goodness, can you see that? So it's got so many stunning shades and my eye directly just goes to the shade called John, which is like a beautiful greeny, it was like a silvery green when I swatched it. So let's see what I can come up with for you guys. So I want to go into the shade Victoria, which is just like a very neutral brown color of sorts, like a gray brown and you guys had asked me when I posted about this palette if I got the light palette or the dark palette and I'm still waiting for Sydney Grace to get back to me but I think based off of like the swatches I saw online I think I got the lighter palette and I believe she said that the deeper palette has a much much deeper transition shades so, so she thought that this one would be more suitable for me. So yeah, I will put it on the screen once I find out what um, version I got. But oh my gosh, you guys, if you've been watching me for a while, you know how much I love Sydney Grace and their mattes. Like that shade just blended to perfection. I do have my eyelids primed with the P. Louise eyeshadow base. That's my favorite base. And I just blended that shade in with the Wayne Goss number 16. This is my favorite blending brush. It's so fluffy and I love it. And that shade blended beautifully, which honestly, I'm not surprised because it's Sydney Grace, <laughs> to be very honest. So next I'm gonna go into this Sonia G Crease Pro brush. And I kind of want to incorporate the shade Darcy, which is a beautiful, like, pinky mauve shade. And we're just going to, oh my god, do you see that pigmentation? Holy moly. And now I'm also realizing that my sweater, it has little pom-pom hearts on it. So, like, how perfect is that with the theme of this palette? <laughs> wow, that pink is stunning. Uh-oh, am I going to change my lid color? Because I was still thinking of doing that silvery color. But I'm just blending that into my lids. I think I just let that pink shade take over my crease completely, but I'm not mad about it. So there is this very slate gray shade called Robert. And I think I'm going to put some of that in the outer corner just to deepen things up. There's also a beautiful shimmery eggplant that I could use to deepen up the outer corner, but I, like, I sometimes dabble with putting shimmers in my crease, but I'm not quite there yet. Like, I don't hate the idea of doing it, but it's still pretty foreign to me, even though I know a lot of people have really embraced that technique now. These freaking brushes are just amazing. I just can't handle. So I like the blend. Oops. <laughs> I like the blend on this eye better than this eye. So I'm just trying to even them out a little bit. So I'm just adding more rubber to the outer corner. It's like almost a black like if you pack it on it almost looks like it's a black it probably is a black is it a black no it's like a dark gray wow do you guys see that I hope you guys can see that I love that that looks amazing okay so now let's look at the lid options again I was thinking this color for my lid but I feel like with the eye look I did, I could do some of these purple shades too. Like I could do this or this color on my lid. Oh, the, the, the agony of deciding. Okay, I'm going to go with Elizabeth because it's beautiful and purple. Okay, I'm going to use my favorite packing brush of all time. This is the Sonia G Builder Pro Brush. If I could have 4,000 brushes of these, I would be such a happy camper. I haven't wet the brush yet, just so you guys know too. I'm just putting it on dry. Okay, so there is quite a bit of pigmentation 
just a little bit of fallout from the shimmer shade. I'm gonna try it with a wet brush. So I'm gonna pick up some of the um, shadow and then I just use this Herbivore spray. And then I'm just gonna go in with the Sonia crease brush and just tap the edges out here. So that shimmer and that matte blend. And basically that's the look. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my face and come back, do the lower lash line, and we will be completely done. Okay guys, so I'm almost done with my makeup. I'm just gonna do lower lash line. I picked these unit brushes up from Beautylish. I think this is their in-house brush brand. It's called Unit and this is 125. It's like the teeniest, tiniest little pencil brush you've ever seen. So for eyeliner today, I did use the ColourPop in Charmer, I believe is the shade. Let me double check. Charmer works perfectly with that purple lid color. It's like the exact same color. So I'm gonna go into Darcy with this, oh gosh, I just kissed the palette. <laughs> Darcy with this teeny tiny little pencil brush and place that in my lower lash line. I'm always on the hunt for a good pencil brush because it's so great for detail work like this. And these ones I was curious about because they were super affordable. I think maybe like $6 a brush, but that one, the Morphe one I told you guys about in a different recent video, it's this guy, Morphe M149. It's a $3 eyeshadow brush. It's a teeny tiny pencil brush. And it's so amazing for detail work, so. Okay, I love how that lower lash line is doing. I thought it would be so fun to incorporate another indie brand into this eye look. So I did recently just get the Sugar Drops collection from Davina. These I got on pre-order during their Black Friday sale and they're stunning. And so I thought it would be fun to pop one of these shades in my inner corner. I think I'm gonna go for a purpley look. So I'm gonna look at the shade Caveat. I think I see like a purple duochrome there. So I'm just gonna use that same brush because you guys know I'm obsessed with a little iridescent inner corner highlight. And I'm just gonna place that in the inner corner. Hopefully you can see that little pop of caveat from Davina, but basically my eye look is done. I just need to put mascara on and do my hair and I will be right back to show you guys the final look. Okay guys, so here is the final look. How fun is this sweater? I didn't even realize that it would go so well with this Enduring Love palette. And then of course, I had to throw on like my heart hoop earrings. So I feel like I'm already ready for Valentine's Day and I'm patting myself on the back for planning all of this out. But I will go ahead and link this sweater for you guys down in my description box in case any of you are curious because I picked it up very recently from another woman-owned brand that I found on Instagram and they have amazing sweaters. If you guys love sweaters as much as I do, definitely check them out down below. But back to this palette, I really like this look I created. I am not a cool tone person by any means. If you ask me like to design a palette, this would probably be the furthest thing that I would come up with. But I'm so happy I tried this out and I just love these shades, how it looks on my eyes. The look I created is fun, but I still feel like it looks natural. But that also might be because I wear like bright blue and green eyeshadows all the time. But I think this could definitely be a cool tone lover's dream palette that they would reach for every single day. And the pigmentation is amazing. The butteriness of the shimmers, they just like glide on. Now I did do like pictures of swatches, whereas usually I do like the live swatches in my swatch party. I do feel like I should at least throw in some pictures of me like swatching it like in real time, but oh my gosh, I just, look at these shimmers, like they're so creamy and buttery and when I was like picking them up with my finger, I was just like blown away as per usual by 
the quality of this brand. So here are some like real time swatches versus like the ones I inserted earlier. And yeah, I love it. I love it so much. I'm so happy they sent it to me to try out because it definitely got me out of my comfort zone and had me doing something different. So I could definitely see myself doing more looks with these. All these shimmer shades are such wearable colors on an everyday basis or if you want to do something glam and nighttime but also if you want to wear some of these shades to work i think it is a work appropriate palette as well so overall it's amazing i don't know the price somebody did ask me the price of them on instagram and i don't know yet if i find out again i will put it in my description box just so you guys have all that information I do believe there are quite a few YouTubers that have codes for Sydney Grace, but typically the codes won't apply to a new release, but I know there are quite a few YouTubers that do get these palettes in PR and get their products and have codes. And I'm sure there's more videos coming from multiple other people. So if I find any good videos, I will definitely try and remember to link them in my description box as well. If you guys have any other questions on the palette, that I didn't cover, again, leave them in the comment section. I will try and get your questions answered, either for me or the brand, if I don't know the answers myself. And yeah, I'm highly impressed, guys. Just so you know, this is a first impressions video, so, you know, take it with a bit of salt. Salt, is that what people say? Just so you guys know, this is a first impressions video. It is not a review by any means. I am trying this palette for the first time. It was gifted to me by the brand, but this is not a sponsored video. I just wanted to make this video because I am so excited to have received something like this from a brand that I've loved for a long time. I have a ton of Sydney Grace videos on my channel if you guys want to go back and see. Now, this is definitely not a colorful palette or anything like that, but if these are not your vibe, they have tons of other shades that you can pick up on their website. I don't think I have anything else to say and I don't want to make this video unnecessarily long. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I will catch you guys in my next video soon. If you guys would like to see more looks with this palette, definitely request that down below and I will see you in my next one. Bye!